For this next example, let's look at the title genre table. And I'm going to go ahead and select top 50 star from title genre and execute that. So what we have is a tconst for a show and then the genre of that show. Now, one of the things I might want to do is get a breakdown for each genre that shows the name of the genre and how many shows are in that genre. So I can use aggregation to do that. I can group by genre and that's going to roll up all of the action shows into one row and all of the science fiction shows into one row and so on. Um, and then use count star an aggregate function in order to calculate how many rows got rolled up into each result row. So that's going to look like select top 50 star from title genre. And then I'm going to group by genre. And let's go ahead and order that in descending order by count star. So that's going to be we'll do descending order. So this is going to be the number of rows that got rolled up and I'm going to order that in descending order. And then for my select clause, I'm going to select genre and count star as number of shows. So let's go ahead and get rid of that top 50 because there aren't that many genres and hit execute. Okay, so we see the genre with the most, um, with the largest number of shows is drama. And that's a million drama shows, a million comedy shows, 670,000 shorts, 500,000 documentaries, and so on. And if we continue scrolling down, we get all the way down to Fime Noir, which only has under a thousand. Now, let's say we want to know the most uh, popular genres, or let's say we define that as the genres where there are over a hundred thousand shows. Well, you might think that the way to do that is to add a where clause. So, for example, where count star greater than a hundred thousand. But this isn't going to work. Let's go ahead and execute. And what we get is an aggregate may not appear in the where clause unless it is in a subquery contained in a having clause or a select list. And the column being aggregated is an outer reference. So um, the stuff about a subquery and it being in an outer reference um, that's something we're going to talk about soon when we get to subqueries. Um, if the column value is aggregated, then since it's aggregated using an aggregate function, then you could put it in a where clause. But here's the key. So the order this happens is first you're doing the from part and any joins, and then you're doing the where clause to select out the rows you want. And then you're grouping those rows together and aggregating the results. And you have to group the results, the rows together and aggregate the results before you have this count. So you have this count after you do the group by, but not before. Before, I can say, for example, with shows that, have, you know, start with the letter A. I could do that for genres that start with the letter A or for T consts over a particular value or whatever. Those are all things that I can apply to the table rows before I aggregate them together. But count star only happens after I've aggregated the rows. So you can't put this in a where clause because where comes before group by. You want to put it after the group by. Now, the way the designers of SQL decided to handle this is by having a separate clause called having which does basically the same thing as where does, except that it does it after any aggregation and grouping. So instead of saying where count star greater than 100,000 before the group by, 
I'm going to put this after group by. And I'm going to call it having instead of where. So now if I execute the query, I get the same results except they're cut off at the 17th mystery, which has 103,000. Now the rest of the syntax for having is pretty much just like it is for where. So I can have and clauses. I could say, for example, um, just as an example, um, and let's say, yeah, genre like, and, and something that starts with A through M is not a really meaningful example, but it does illustrate the point. So here are the genres that start with the letter A through M that have more than 100,000 titles. Now you can also combine where with having, which makes sense in some cases. So for example, if I only want more recent shows with a higher number ID, I could say, for example, where tkonst is greater than, and I have to refresh my memory about what's actually in tkonst. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna select top 50 star from title genre. Execute. So the form is TT and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven digits. So let's do T const greater than, um, I think we'll do 100,000. So TT, one, two, one, that's 10,000, so that's there. So this should be the show's with ID over 100,000. Execute. So here it's filtering on individual shows based on the ID. Then it's grouping the results of that filtering. And then it's refiltering based on the grouped and aggregated results. And I went from, so this is, so without this where I have 100,411 mysteries. If I comment this out and rerun the query, now I have 103,619. So I filtered some out. And let's see if I get anything if I change that to 200,000. And now mystery is dropped off the list entirely because there's less than 100,000 results.